apparently PewDiePie has released another drawing video. Yep, the one year one. We're gonna take a look at that. Here we go. So this all started as a random idea. I wanted to make a progression video and I picked art because I thought it was easy to track. Like I'll draw for 30 days. I can show the first day and then I can compare it to- I mean, not to pause too early, but honestly, I don't really think art is particularly easy to track. I find that uh, art is one of the harder things to track progression in because it's hard to tell whether one drawing is better than another one, right? That would be interesting to see. Did I make progress? This is where it all started 365 uh. days ago. Wow. Day one. <laughs> Day one. <laughs> yes. That's all you need to do to get started. Yes. But they all kind of look like they have some sort of allergy. Like they uh, they ate a lobster. He's and being mean to himself. They're not that bad. The chin is very big. I wonder if I can fix it. I feel bad. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> tries to fix his old art. Damn, I drew so hard. I can't erase. <laughs> I realize, and maybe other people have said this too, but uh, drawing is more about training your brain to see rather than actually technical with your hand. I think that's- He's actually really right about this. It's really good because I think a lot of people don't actually realize this. Even if your lines are a little bit hairy and a little bit uncertain, it's about knowing where you put them and your eye knowing where they're supposed to go. You know what I mean? You gotta develop those eyes. But yeah, I'm so happy for him, man. I'm just really glad he's still drawing. But after 30 days, this was the progress of my first video. I was so happy with it. And yeah, I think really I should cute. be. Because the progress is definitely there. So this is my progress after 82 days, 84. And I really think here's where I peaked in terms of <laughs> if you wanted to this one's still really cute. as much as possible in the shortest this time. This is really good. So let's check the progress from there All right, on. we saw all that. Let's see the new progress, guys. First of all, don't do what I did. I just kept drawing the same things. Anime girl. Respectfully, I have to disagree with this. I don't think he did anything wrong by just drawing anime girls. I think it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> I like to say fun before dementals, right? Because by drawing what you like and drawing what you enjoy, not only will you have more fun, not only will it be more interesting and you get a lot of mileage and mileage is important too, okay? Draw whatever keeps you drawing. If it's anime girls, draw anime girls. <laughs> and there's also another thing that people I think might not realize so much and why a lot of people tend to give up and get frustrated. If you draw only one thing, you're gonna see a lot more progress in that one thing, right? Look, he's only been drawing anime girls and look how much progress he made, okay? It's much easier to track and see progress if you practice one thing only. It really depends because I don't think I could do that. I would get really bored, but some people get all scattered. They draw a horse here and they draw like a box there and they draw one anime girl and then they draw a chair there and they're like, oh, I don't really see any progress. No, I feel like especially at first starting out, it does make sense to start on one thing. So I respectfully disagree. I think it's okay to draw one thing for a while. Anime girl. Too oh. much anime. Disagree. Keep drawing anime <laughs> just girls. Bad. Bad, <laughs> just bad. And this is where I should have moved on to something else. I should have just drawn anything else. And eventually I did. I really wanted to draw more color, but it takes so much time to do that. And I really felt it like does. I needed mileage more than anything. So it just. He's right. Adding a little mileage. bit of color, sure. We'll ink it, but that's that's the most effort I'm gonna get into. Finally, finally, <laughs> I move on and I draw boys. This is the boys arc. I think PewDiePie is actually speed running all of our artist timelines. I feel like a lot of us, including myself, we drew only anime girls, and then we have the boys arc. <laughs> Cause I don't know about you guys. I had a boy's arc. Did you have a boy's arc? This is a good time for me to address a couple of things from my last video. And uh, one of them is just a huge thanks to other YouTubers that reacted to my video. I think that was yeah, so cool I'm to not see. <laughs> I have not started art. That was the whole point of this video. But I love doing Photoshop. This is so good, dude, right? Before his design YouTube, sensibility is good. I loved Photoshop. Yeah, this kind of stuff, I think, really trains his design sensibility. So he had that going into it, and a lot of people don't have this to begin with. It's like, yeah, it's pretty good taste. I think the biggest sort of thing that helped is that I'm actually older. Like, I'm 35 now, and I think if I did this thing when I was younger, I would not have seen the same improvement. Mm -mm. I don't know if being older helps so much, but as an older person myself, 
I think where age really comes into play here is that older people are a little bit more chill. Older people tend to have fewer mental breakdowns. Having experienced a little bit more, they realize that everything is slow and everything is hard. So if you don't see improvement immediately, it's not really a big deal, yeah? I feel like older people might be better at analyzing their mistakes and their progression and analyzing where they went wrong and what they can do to improve, but I don't think that's unique to older people. It really depends on the person. I know that was true for me, but I know that's not true for everybody. But I also think, you know, the improvement I had, anyone can achieve. Like, I wanted my video true. to be inspiring for other people to do the same thing. Like, that's my goal. Like, people say anyone can draw, and I truly, True. truly believe that. Uh, but an insecurity of mine was brewing, which was I couldn't... Like, if I wanted to draw anime styles, oh, you draw a middle line, you draw where the eyes are going to be, the mouth, the ear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much... That's kind of the same way I draw and faces. Just swirling some hair really quick. Uh, yeah, this cute. This method is so helpful because mm -hmm. when you draw, it's all about balance. Like, uh, if I drew directly, same thing, and anything is, like, out of proportion the whole thing just kind of looks weird mm -hmm. so i bought this pen this pen is amazing it's a brush pen i have this pen squeeze it i'm gonna use this pen i need to learn how to draw without without the whole circle <laughs> thing again <laughs> Yo, bro, bro has only been drawing for less than a year and he already got his Kim Jong Gi face. You guys know Kim Jong Gi, right? Uh, here. But I, he even uses a brush pen as well. But then I feel like almost every single artist sees this and they're like, holy crap, I need to be able to do this. And then they buy a brush pen and they try to do this. <laughs> I feel like a lot of us had a Kim Jong Gi phase, and so did PewDiePie. Here's his Kim Jong Gi phase. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It felt like taking a hundred steps back, but uh, that's how you have to improve. You know, you have to get out of your comfort zone. True. It's still so hard with proportions, man. Like anything is slightly off, it's gonna suck. Guys, it's okay to use guidelines forever. Don't worry about it. Guidelines are sick. I love guidelines. I'll never let them go. Oh boy, I love guidelines so yeah, much. This felt like Don't a worry about it. But I'm glad I took guidelines it. are great. And uh, yeah, it was really fun. But, but it is what fun. What I should have been doing is draw other things as well. <laughs> By the way, here's another reason why it's okay to one trick anime girls. Uh, kind of in the same way like when you're playing a video game, right? Like like some sort of multiplayer video game, Overwatch League, whatever. If you one trick something to a very high level, even if you don't play any other hero, right? You'll be able to play other heroes better as your understanding of your one trick improves. Your overall level actually gets better. Something but like I said, the most important thing, draw whatever makes you happy, draw whatever keeps you drawing. Finally sparked in me, where before I was like, okay, I just want to draw for the sake of drawing, I don't mm -hmm. have any interest in anything. I started These are drawing yo, yo, panels. wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. This is so good. Yo, this is so cute. I love this, dude. So finally, finally, after, I don't know, 300 days of drawing, I picked up an art book. He bought an art book. This is tacos, right? He bought an anatomy book. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He bought an art book. He bought an anatomy book. He can't escape. He's in the pit with us. We got him. <laughs> he's not getting out. He's, he's stuck in here with us. Once you get an anatomy book, it's over for you. You are in here with us, Mr. PewDiePie. Oh my, oh, he, he is I done. You're done not leaving. Ages ago. So I picked up a couple art books, some more technical <laughs> one than others. Us, one of us! One of us! One of us! Because I enjoy the style of it. Obviously, everyone has different. Yeah, true. Shout out Taco. Taco's insane. Taco's so good. Preferences. I think if you were to be a professional artist, you probably want to pick like a human anatomy book and really study it. But for me, it's just supposed to be fun. And I think if I'm having fun, right. I will remain consistent. So exactly. At least that's. He's so smart. Have fun. That's what I was trying to focus on. I picked up books about perspective because I, I want to learn and I want to understand this. And I think finally that oh, clicked in he, me. Oh, it it's over. Me just welcome, to welcome, welcome. Whatever to. No, I actually want to understand these things so I can draw them better. And I wish I did that sooner. 
again, this felt like taking... He keeps saying stuff like, I wish I did this sooner, but I think he actually did a very important thing in drawing all those anime girls, which is to discover what he enjoys doing, what he loves drawing, what makes his heart sing, you know? And I think that is a part of drawing you can't really miss. Even though he says like, oh, I should have done this sooner. I feel like if he did this before he was ready, he would be a lot more likely to give up on drawing because frankly, studying anatomy is a lot less fun than drawing fun things, yeah? It's not that fun. I think I was being too hard on myself where Correct. I was getting close to a year and I'm like, I don't, I don't have anything to show for it. I uh, drew a full body one. That's and not, I'm actually, like comparing pretty good. it to my 80 day one and I'm like, the 80 day one is still better. <laughs> I think everyone has felt this at some point, right? I think everyone has like one drawing where they just kind of like shoot way above their current skill level, right? You draw something you're like, that's insane. How the hell did I draw that? I have no idea how I drew that, yeah? Well, that's because of the whole like kind of gotcha-like element of drawing. Uh, sometimes you just get really freaking lucky, you RNG an incredible drawing, and then you try again and you can't replicate it. But that's why you study fundamentals. Fundamentals will raise your overall level, and more importantly, it raises your consistency. So you can understand what you did and then hopefully replicate it again. Even though it's just like... <laughs> oh, this is so relatable! Hey, buddy, it's so bad! <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I feel like all of us have yelled something like that at some point. He just like me for real, for real. He's Jesus. He's just like me. <laughs> I I was genuinely panicking. <laughs> like, it's so it's That's been so, so cute. I think Art is really like watching this because it's so relatable to all of us, right? And that's when I bought an iPad. <laughs> He got an iPad as well! Oh, he's not getting out. Oh, it's over for him. <laughs> Coming in clutch last In minute. the trenches! Super satisfying to draw with a pen on an iPad. But obviously it was way different. So again, it was like a last minute learning curve of me not understanding the program. See, that's one thing that PewDiePie understands really well that a lot of people don't seem to understand as well. He's a lot more gentle to himself, right? He picks up the iPad and he's like, oh, well, I'm not good at this right away, but that's because there's a learning curve. I don't understand stuff. So it's natural that things will be better. He understands that this is part of learning. Colors that's are fun, procreate, but right? I didn't know he has time lapses. Hair. He even has time I, lapses. I at least try to draw like a full body, but I was so scared of getting it wrong that I think I just made it look weird. So I practiced drawing it's a good hair, attempt. but it's just like nothing interesting about no, it. No, this, this is, is not bad. I don't out. think this is bad. It's thought, pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna really f wow you guys. I started the line work. Oh, I this is ambitious. This one is very pens. ambitious. This is gonna be... This is... So good. And uh, this is the end result. And I genuinely hate looking at it. It's not that bad. I looked at it so much. It's not that bad. It just pisses me <laughs> off. Even now, but he I don't, hates I don't it. Want to <laughs> And unsatisfied. I think one thing is he's kind of struggling with is when you move to digital, you can get much more thin and precise lines. I don't know. I think I definitely had that issue as well when I first transitioned to the iPad because it was much harder to get my things to look right because uh, it was much easier to have clean lines. So all my mistakes, I couldn't use sketchy lines to hide them. They just stood out and they were super obvious. So for me, the transition wasn't super, super easy. You wonder if he's falling into the zoom in all the way trap? It's supposed to be like the most I don't know. Maybe he ever, is. Like I bet he is. Contrast with some color. This is not Still, bad. I didn't like it. I, dude, I like that and rim gonna, light at the back. You see that? That rim light? I like it. High so I sketched for a couple days and I told myself I'm going to give one last effort. I have to really like it to actually sketch it. And this is the last thing I drew. I finished it yesterday. I like the lighting he's doing, dude. I think dude. I'm finally happy with it. Oh, it's so cute. I finally drew clothes that isn't just black. And, I love this. Uh, I actually put look, look, some look, more time. Yo, look at oh, look at little look at little cash shadow here too. Look at oh down there. I'm gonna go back down. Look a little cash shadow over here. It's so and cute, dude. I think I'm finally happy with it. <laughs> that's a that's good progress for a whole year. That isn't just black. Yeah. Like Jimbo said, his anime face stat is quite high. That's the benefit of like grinding those anime girl faces. Even if the rest of your drawing looks like mm, people tend to focus on the face, so if the face looks good, everything else will look but better. I think so I'm, it was uh, a good choice. Keep drawing anime girl faces. For a year progress. Yeah. It's not bad. Am I allowed to be happy? Yes, absolutely. That is good progress. It took a lot of pain to get there, you know? Like, uh, okay. let's compare. Day one, day 365. That's... Yay! 
Next arc will be Eternity Anatomy Scott know, Struggle. Maybe, Watch him become like an art maybe YouTuber. Maybe you guys disagree, but I feel like I finally beat my 80 day whatever. Ah, this is still better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm so proud I of him. I genuinely cannot thank you guys enough for all the love and support in oh, yeah. these with making these videos. It was such a massive I'm encouragement so for me to actually continue. I used to love drawing as a kid, and I don't know why I stopped, but I'm so happy to be back doing it. Welcome to the trenches. It feels like I never saw. <laughs> I, really I think it. because we're just so happy to see him, to see him, you know, do the thing that brings us so much joy, right? He's doing a really good job because he's just demystifying the process of being an artist. It's not rocket science. It's just practice and dedication. You don't even need talent. You just need time and the willingness to practice. That's all it is. And the fact that PewDiePie is showing the so world yes. that, that makes us Thank happy, everyone. right? That makes us happy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Whatever that will be. I don't know, but it will be. See you next year, Pewds. Yeah. Okay, I punched my tablet.